back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one right here is for Doctor Who, Season 2, Episode number 3. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. Tell a friend to tell a friend we out here watching Doctor Who. It helps the algorithm. Thank you. Alright, just a couple comments from the last episode, starting with Executive Producer Jojo, who says, Great reaction, guys. I had totally forgotten about the whole royal family, our werewolves thing. Might need to rewatch The Crown with that in mind. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to watch that show. I haven't watched it yet. Also, my favorite line in the episode is when Rose tries to do a terrible Scottish accent, and the doctor just says, No, just no. Yeah. Funny because Tenet is actually Scottish. Executive producer Jeremy says, I really enjoyed the reaction. I've seen a few different reactions for this episode. They usually don't like it very much, largely I think because they get thrown off by the ninja monks at the beginning, but I always thought it was an enjoyable episode. I'm glad you both enjoyed it too. I thought the monks was like a great yeah. new thing to see that good. the show hadn't done yet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I really like the chemistry and the fun that Dr. Uh, Doctor and Rose have now, I kind of get why the Queen was so angry at the end. She's never experienced this before, all this darkness and monsters, and Rose and the Doctor are just laughing and having fun while all these people die around them. Yeah. <laughs> Out my stomach. Um, it looks kind of bad from an outside perspective. I feel like that's a fair point. Um, honestly, when I watched it the first time, I kind of thought Rose and the Doctor might be having a little bit too much fun mm -hmm. considering all the dead people. Anyway, I look forward to the next one. Alright, last comments from Jonathan, who says, Slightly late, but looking forward to watching your reactions. Pretty sure Torchwood is mentioned in this, which is a dope spin-off, which I definitely recommend you to watch. It starts at the start of Doctor Who Season 3. Anyway, can't wait to see what's next. Next, real talk reactions are the best. Aw, wow, thanks, Jonathan. It. Straight up shout-out. Yeah, well man. done. Alright, let's jump into episode 3 right now. What do you want? The nurse sent me, sir. I was in English and I got a headache. Then don't bother me, go home. I can't. Why? Is your mother at work? I live in Ambrose Hill. The children's home. No parents. No one to miss you. I see why the nurse sent you. You poor child. No, poor. Shit. No shit. Thin child. Come inside. It's <laughs> nearly time for lunch. Did he just eat her? Is that what yes, her? Good morning, class. So he just showed up. He just showed up there. So I'm here in the box. static electricity and hung from a string so they can swing freely. What would happen if they were brought near each other? Yes. Uh, what's your name? Milo. Milo. Off you go. They would repel each other because they have the same charge. Correctamundo. A word I have never used before and hopefully never will again. Question two. I call it a thin piece of nichrome wire and place it in a glass of water. What? Then I turn on the electricity and measure to see if the water temperature is affected. My question is this. How do I... Boy in class this morning. Got knowledge way beyond planet Earth. You eating those chips? Yeah, they're a bit different. I oh, bet they're gorgeous. Wish I had something like this. It's very well behaved, this place. Mm. I think maybe you called me home just, just to call me home. I was thinking I'd just invent an emergency. Yeah, I could have done. Than those K9! Rose Tyler, Mickey Smith, allow me to introduce K9. Well, K9 Mark III to be precise. Why does he look so disco? Oi! Listen, in the year 5000, this was cutting edge. What's happened to him? Wrong day, just nothing. Oh, didn't you try and get repaired? It's like getting parts for a mini metro. Besides, technology is that it could rewrite human science. I couldn't show it to anyone. Oh my god, Rose needs to get over herself. Like, yeah. No, no offense, but can you just stop petting for a minute? I mean, they both yeah, trying each other right now. Both the girls. She may have to get older. She older. You see, 
what's impressive is that it's been nearly an hour since we met her and I still haven't said I told you so. Not this thing. So I have prepared a little I was right dance that I can show you later. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. PowerPoint and put out right. <laughs> All this time we've been doing He's different, but the truth is, he's just like any other girl. You know, I know what you're talking about. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. But if I were you, I'd kiss you. Fish chips, mate. So get down on it. Thanks, baby. How funny is it? Giles with bias, which are like vampires, which is like Buffy. They got a bite too. I thought of you on Christmas Day. Is Christmas just gone? Great big spaceship overhead. I thought, oh yeah, Betty's up there. Probably is there. Half a dozen times. Who lives there? 60 years? No, can't be, right? Did I do something wrong? It's not like clockwork. Just don't yeah. I told you. I was called back home and those days humans weren't allowed. I waited for you. I missed you. Oh, you didn't need me. You were getting on with your life. You were my life. You know what the most difficult thing was? Coping with what happens next or what doesn't happen next. You took me to the furthest reaches of the galaxy. You showed me supernovas, intergalactic battles, and then you just dropped me back on Earth. How could anything compare to that? All the things you saw, you, you want me to apologize for that? No, but we get a taste of that splendor, and then we have to go back. Look at you, you're investigating. You found that school, you're doing what we always did. You could have come back. I couldn't. Do you love her or something? It wasn't Croydon. When you dropped me off, it wasn't Croydon. Where was it? Aberdeen. Right. That's next to Croydon, isn't it? Oh, that ain't business. Yeah, well, I said you come back. Probably because he fell in love with her. That's probably not something you can do. You want her to be in danger? No, I think because, like, he just died. So. Yeah. I wouldn't touch the way that dinner lady got all scorched. I'm no dinner lady. And I don't often say that. Humans decay. You wither and you die. Imagine watching that happen to some of you. What, Doctor? You can spend the rest of your life. So, why don't you just tell her? Me, but what are you going to do? Don't mind that a word with Mr. Finch. Who are you? My name is Brother Lassa. And you? The Doctor. Since when did Crinitate have wings? It's been our form for nearly ten generations now. Our ancestors invaded Bethsana. The people there had some rather lovely wings. They met a million widows in one day, just imagine. And now you're shaped. Can I give you a bit of advice? I've got a feeling you're about to. I know how intense a relationship with the doctor can be, and I don't want you to feel I'm intruding. I don't feel threatened by you, if that's what you mean. Right. Good. Because yeah. I'm not interested in picking up where we left off. No? With the big sad eyes and the robot dog, what else were you doing last night? I was just saying how hard it was adjusting to life back on Earth. The thing is, when you two met, it only just got rid of Rashlin. No wonder all that space stuff was a bit too much for you. I have no problem with space stuff. I saw things you wouldn't believe. Try me. Mummies, 
I've met ghosts. Robots. Lots of robots. Slovene in Downing Street. Daleks. Met the Emperor. Antimatter monsters. Gas mask zombies. Real living dinosaur. Real living werewolf. The Loch Ness Monster. Seriously? <laughs> episode three of Doctor Who and uh, while the, the cornball cheese factor was very high in this episode I don't really um, subscribe to that it made for an okay episode now what this one did for me though is that besides the main story that had, we, we had going on we learned some more about the doctor which was, I was a surprise and which was great to me because that makes sense there was another girl from before when he was a different doctor, you know, six times back, something like that. So I love that aspect of it. I like they, they got a little jealous, you know, Sarah and them. Um, and then at the end, we added a third person. Finally, I'm like, we need to add another mix up in here just so we can, you know, just not them two all the time. But um, that part of this episode right here was the most interesting mm -hmm. to me. Um, yeah, I know they had to fill it with a with a uh, adventure or something like that, but you know I'm gonna wipe that out because I don't think that has anything to do with anything right now. I really just like that part about the doctor and his history and all that, and where it could happen in the future that Sarah's seeing right now. Sarah, is it Sarah Jane? And what's what's up, Rose. Uh, Rose? 
And I, I like that Rose got a glimpse of what possibly could happen to her, you know, in the near future when the doctor has to go or something like that. And I just thought that was a good thing to, to, to think about. And I'm glad that the show put that in there. So uh, I liked how they just jumped right into the story. We ain't have no, like, the, the ship came and while we here, but they just in there doing it. So that's cool. That, that was a different little take on it. And I'm again, I'm glad we got a third person. Let's see how long he lasts on here. But I think it'll make for a good, you know, um, banter on there. So, all right. Can't wait to see episode four. I don't know if it was intentional, but I do like the fact that last episode we had werewolves and then this episode we have, like, bats, vampiric aspect especially with Giles being there from uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Vampire Slayer and uh, from Ted Lasso. I just thought wow. that was a nice touch. I don't know if that was intentional. It had to be but it was a nice touch. I think he's a fantastic actor so even though that storyline didn't uh, didn't really hit all the way him being there was the the added caveat as far as uh, charisma and all of that. I thought he was great. I also thought the sound score for creating the dramatics was really good. Just all in all, like visually, it wasn't as uh, entertaining or uh, good. That's <laughs> a little corny. But to your point, my favorite takeaways, honestly, the end was really sweet and endearing. I love the fact that we got to see somebody else that traveled with the doctor. That totally makes sense. I loved how heartbroken she was as far as the way that he left her. But I also loved uh, uh, the doctor's response to that like I don't want to see you wither and die like I'm I have this entire like I have a never-ending life and everybody that I ever love and care about care about is gonna die before you know oh. I'm gonna have to see them die so although he could have handled that with much more grace and yeah. like give her a, an actual goodbye which he did now I thought it was just very sweet and added so many more layers to what the doctor is and what his life looks like and also for both you know for both Sarah and for Rose like it, it's a predicament that they're in as well because ultimately they they will die and this isn't something that they can do forever. Um, but I thought the the fact that he uh, rebuilt the canine too was super. I almost like literally teared up at the end because I was like, this is so sweet. Um, so that was my favorite takeaway. I I think that was a something I wasn't expecting to see, but it makes sense as long as he's been alive. He's obviously is somebody that loves to travel with people uh -huh. he made that very obvious he was quick to invite rose along initially in the first season so having the not having had that thought that he might have traveled with somebody else uh it's crazy now to think about so i love that they introduced that in this episode uh -huh. and to your point it'll be interesting to see if we have other characters uh that show up that he's traveled with as well yeah um but i thought this is uh those aspects of the episode were really great and definitely uh interested in checking out the next one all right well look thank you guys again for watching another real talk reaction for doctor who season two episode number three and until next time people peace